Welcome to Foods 101. Today we are representing Johnson County Early College Academy. My name is Cameron Giddens. My name is Paula Galvan. My name is Tyler Gordon. I'm Ariana Morgan. So what's the problem? America is one of the most obese countries in the world. According to a study done by Business Insider in 2014, we were ranked the, the number one obese country in the world. Um, the percentage of children ages 6 to 11 who are obese in America went from, from 7% in 1980 to 11% in 2012. To 18% in 2012. This is an 11% increase in thir 32 years. There are many risk factors that come with obesity. It, as, of as of 2014, 7% of obese youth have at least one risk factor, factor of getting cardiovascular disease. People simply do not have the, the means to cook healthy, whole foods. Instead, they choose greasy foods high in fat. This is because it's often more convenient. Studies show that binge eating, though, makes a similar addiction to drug addiction, how it's just consistent, you can't stop. And according to the, according to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, over one third of teenagers and kids are either overweight or obese. Let's see. Children and adolescents who are obese or overweight have a higher risk of being ill in bone, psychological, also social issues, all of that. So what is wrong with teenagers? Teenagers that are obese are more likely to develop prediabetes. Prediabetes is a condition in which the blood glucose levels indicate a high risk for the development of diabetes. We plan to make a class that will focus on food that is good for everyone. It will teach children about healthy living. This innovation will expand the children's knowledge about the diseases that can form from eating unhealthy food. Benefits that, uh, benefits that the children will get are that they will learn facts su um, such as knowing the risks of eating unhealthy and healthy diets. They will learn healthy food options, how to live a healthy lifestyle, and, and there will be food pyramids in the class that will help children throughout the period, and they will be used as a reference for children to look back through. The class will mostly focus on interactive learning because the children need to observe why unhealthy eating is not a good thing. An example would be that there would be uh, two bodies with different physical compositions and the children would explore what is going on inside to see if there are any health risks. If there are any, which there will be, they will investigate and explore the short and long term effects of unhealthy eating. They will there will also be parent meetings and parent nights that will allow the parents to observe what is going on in the class. There are, however, going to be some kids that do not like healthy eating and not like the class, but we ensure you that with the facts and knowledge they obtain, they will be motivated to learn more about food. Also, children who learn about food in the class will most likely tell their parents when they get home, and they will later integrate it to the food diet. As this passes on through children and their families, the children will start to integrate the foods they are eating into their diets. This will keep going along and along, families among families, through this point when both children and adults, both eating healthier, everybody wins. This proves the sustainability of our project. Everyone who eats more healthy diet becomes more energetic and happy from this diet. Just think about the creativity that everyone has to create foods that are let look good and taste delicious. This is Foods 101. Thank you for listening.